Hey guys, the United States offers many financial perks to our enlisted men and women, and sadly, that attracts lots of scammers. These con artists know our military personnel are targets, and they keep developing sophisticated scams. One of the biggest problems lately are called imposter scams. They're like a plague on our military personnel. Here's just one example. You get a call from this number. That's actually the phone number of the real Social Security Administration. The person on the other end says your Social Security number is about to be suspended because maybe you were out of the country on deployment. You need to verify your Social Security number and all your personal information. They tell you that if you don't get the required information, you could lose all your Social Security benefits and maybe even face a huge fine. Sounds scary, right? Those scammers have the technology to spoof other phone numbers. That means they can make your caller ID pop with legitimate numbers, even when they're not. Here's what you need to know. The Social Security Administration never calls you with threats. Neither does the IRS or for that matter, any other government agency. In fact, no one who's legitimate, either in the government or in business, will call you with threats and demand that you surrender any of your personal information. Remember, name, rank, and serial number? Well, you should give even less information to anyone who calls asking you for any of your personal data. What should you do? Ask for a phone number and an extension to call back. With the prevalence of identity theft scams, every real business and agency understands this and should not hesitate to give you that information. So go to war against scammers and never surrender your personal information. Thank you for your service.